Welcome guys, in this video we are going to see an example of sinusoidal steady state phase analysis and in this particular problem we have asked to find out the voltage across this 6 ohm resistor. Now here we have this circuit in time domain, okay. Now we are going to convert this one into phasor, then we are going to find out this voltage. Now let's go ahead and convert this one into phasor, convert to phasor, convert to phasor. When we convert to phasor, this sinusoidal current source is going to become like this value. We pick up the first value and also the angle. So this is going to be 520 degree. Okay. And when we convert this this inductor, this capacitor, inductor, and this resistance, all of them are going to become impedance. Now when we let's say this is our capacitor, when we convert this one into phasor, this is going to become negative j over omega c. And when we con convert this inductance, that's going to become J omega L. In our case, omega is 300. Whatever the value that's multiplying this T value, that's omega. Here we have 300. And let's go ahead and convert our capacitor. Let's call this one Z1. And uh, here we are going to have negative J over omega C. In our case, omega is equal to 300. So 300 times 5 times 10 to the power of minus 3. And if you simplify this one, this is going to give you negative j times 2 over 3. So this is our first impedance. And here we have this inductance. When we convert this one into phasor, this is going to become j omega L. And j times omega is 300 times the given in inductance is 20 millihenries. 20 times 10 to the power of minus 3 henries. And from this one, we can see this 10 to the power of minus 3 and these three zeros cancels each other. So we are going to have. 6j and this is z2 okay and z3 for this uh, resistor whenever we have whenever we convert resistor to phasor that's remain the same okay so for z3 it's going to be just 6 now these are the things we have right now let's go ahead and throw our new circuit let's get rid of this part okay here we are going to throw our new circuit Okay, the new current source is going to be this one, 520, 520, and uh, the capacitor is going to change into impedance. So this is a negative J, two, J times 2 over 3. This is negative J times... 2 over 3 okay let's use a different color here 2 over 3 2 over 3 and here we are going to have this value 6j 6j and here we are going to have this 6 ohm resistor and here this is impedance okay so this is 6 and these are the things we have right now we are trying to find the voltage across this this one this one and uh, here we have this current source when this current source enters in this node this is going to divide into two parts right let's call this one i1 and uh, this one i2 since we are interested in finding the voltage across this 6 ohm resistor we have to find the i2 value because i2 is the current that's entering this one if we find I2, we can find the this voltage because V is equal to I times Z in our case. When we use phasor, that's going to be I times Z. So we can, using that formula, we can find that one out. Now to find this current, we can use the current division formula. Current division is, uh, we have current source. So let's say this is I2. Let's call this one IS because we use this IS here. IS times other source. So this is in our one this is z2 right this one is z2 let's name this one here this is our z2 and this is z this one was z1 this one is c2 and this one is z3 so the equation is going to be is times z1 because we have to use the other first so z1 over 
the addition of all of these three so z1 plus z2 plus z3 okay this is the formula we are going to use to find out the i2 current now let's go ahead and plug the values here we are going to have i2 is equal to is is 520 times z1 is equivalent to negative j2 over 3 negative j2 over 3 divided by this one z1 that's negative j2 over 3 plus z2 is going to be this one 6 j plus z3 is going to be just 6 okay and if you calculate this one you're going to get 0 0.4152 negative 111.634 degree so this is the current through this one and since since this is in series uh, the current across this one and the current through this one and this one is going to be the same so we are going to use v is equal to i z in our case we are going to use z3 because we are interested in finding the voltage across this 6 ohm resistor in our case this 6 impedance so this is going to be i times i is this one 0 0.4152 negative 111.634 degree times the impedance that's going to be just 6 and if you calculate this one you're going to get 2.49136 negative 111.634 degree so this is the voltage in phaser if you want to convert this one into time domain you can use this pattern the first value is going to be the front value let's use a different color the first value is going to be the front value that's going to be 2.49136 and then we are going to put cos and after that omega value is going to be 300 300 t and after that we put this angle this is negative 111.634 degree and that's going to be our voltage through this uh, voltage across this 6 ohm resistor and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching